Hi friends, welcome back to Friends Test Kitchen. Gina and I are excited today because we are frying up donuts. So Selena Gomez has her new show, Selena and Chef, and she made fried donuts with the famous Roy Choi from LA. I love him. He is a Korean chef superstar, makes really fun, innovative dishes. So um, he's making this dish with Selena. And this is more like an old fashioned favorite. I know that a lot of people make fried donuts using biscuits. So that is what we're doing today. Our house is smelling pretty good already with the oil heating up. But make sure you stay till the end when Gina and I are done frying and we're going to taste these. And all the details and the uh, recipe is in the description box. So if you're interested, click there for more details. So Gina, are you ready to start frying? Yes, and I actually shook my head no when you said <laughs> smelling good with the oil fry because I do not like the smell of oil. So because I love Kat and I love Selena and I love donuts, this would be the recipe where I deep fry something in my house. I've already pre-popped my um, Pillsbury uh, biscuits out of the can. I gotta do mine. And I'm already okay. wincing. Ah! Roy says that um, he likes frying his donuts in Crisco shortening. Um, I didn't have it on hand and I didn't want to go out and buy it. I had a big jug of vegetable oil, so that's what I'm using today. Um, Gina, I think you're using Crisco, so maybe we'll see what the difference is. Maybe yep. yours would be crispier than mine's. Well, the other thing is that um, he does say on the video with Selena, put it in oil that's like medium high, but not too hot, because you don't want to burn it. You want to cook it, um, the outside and the inside. And Gina and I hate these recipes, because we just want to know, so what's the temperature? I went online and Googled what's the perfect frying temperature for donuts and it said about 350 to 360. But when I had it at 350, Gina and I were afraid because my oil was like bubbling. So I turned, <laughs> I turned it down slightly and it's about like 320 now. So his um, advice was to drop a little piece of dough and if it sizzles, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna drop it and see. Okay. So we're gonna drop in maybe four at a time just to not crowd the pan. Gina, are you making holes? I, I dropped a few regular and then I am gonna drop, um, make a few with holes. It's not too hard. Okay, so Roy says it's gonna cook about two minutes on each side, so just wanna make sure that it doesn't burn. But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our cinnamon sugar. Well, we gotta do this quick. So as soon as we take it out, we're gonna wanna dip it in our sugary mix. So we're gonna use half a cup of white sugar, and then a couple tablespoons of ground cinnamon, which smells amazing, and then a couple tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, and he does say to grind them up a bit. So I just yep, so it. I just, if you can't find it toasted, just put it in a pan and swirl it um, in your pan for a minute on uh, medium to high heat, and then you'll be all set. You already flipped yours? Yeah, it was turning really brown, oh. so maybe my heat was too high. But the only thing is that if it's too hot, I hope that your middle is cooked. I know, I'm worried mine won't be cooked all the way on the inside. That would be it's a cook like... error, not a recipe error. Oh, we all know. <laughs> We've been looking forward to cider mill donuts, and I feel like yes. we could just make that at home with our own cinnamon sugar. I think this is perfect thing to make in this, in this weather, because it's not quite fall, but it's getting there. September's kind of a weird month like that. Yeah. And I've got donut holes, cat. Voila! We're done. We took it out of the oil, we put it on our paper towel, and then we just dipped it in the sugar mixture, and we have delicious donuts. And mine, you can tell, are homemade because they're kind of burnt and look a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it was made with love. But they poofed up real nice, but I, for me, I'd have to see if it cooked in the middle or not. But it, it's crispy and it's crunchy on the outside. Okay. okay. I'm glad I opened mine up, Kat. Mine, um, because mine was has that flaky well. effect, so it I, it yeah. made me want to open it. It's not cooked all the way. The holes are cooked. Go. Mmm. <laughs> mine is cooked perfect. 
Mmm. It was crispy. And super oh. soft in the middle. Yes. Because of the flakiness. You bite down, it squeezes, and then it springs back up. It's so good. Mmm. I'm sorry for the inappropriate sounds, but yum. So I think Kat and I found another win. So thank you to Chef Ray and to Selena for sharing this recipe. We absolutely love it and it's a big hit and we know our kids and everyone who comes over are gonna love it as well. And then we'll see you next week with our next recipe. I wonder what we'll make. If you have any recommendations, just let us know. See you next week. Thanks everyone.